Field New this morning. It's time to break out the insect repellent. Diseases from ticks, fleas, and mosquitoes are on the rise, more than tripling between 2004 and 2016. In Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow explains how a small bite could trigger a big problem. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Here in the U.S., ticks are responsible for more human disease than any other insect. As a Jefferson City woman found out, that could mean developing a dangerous allergy to meat. Jessica Sanford is careful when she goes outside. Get your ball. A small tick bite became a life-changing event. Removed the tick, didn't really think much of it, and then a few weeks later, I started having um, allergic reactions. It was frightening. I woke up in the night with hives and um, breathing issues. Dr. Christine Franzese with University of Missouri Healthcare says the reaction comes from a food allergy linked to tick bites. People like Jessica have severe reactions when eating meat. You have to avoid all mammal meat. So that includes deer, rabbits, all kinds of game, pork, and beef. How does it happen? Ticks can carry a sugar molecule found in the blood of mammals. The Lone Star Tick is the primary culprit. This alpha-gal sugar is not present in human blood. When the tick bites, it transfers the foreign sugar to humans. The body develops antibodies, causing people like Jessica to get sick when they eat meat from mammals, such as pork and beef. But what's unusual is the allergic reaction after eating meat is sometimes delayed. People have gone weeks to months trying to figure out what is causing the reaction because it happens so far away from when they ate the food. Currently, there is no treatment available other than avoiding meat until the allergy goes away, which could take two years. Until then, Jessica is being careful with her food choices and trying to avoid ticks. Joining me now is Dr. Christine Franzese, an allergist at MU Healthcare. Tell me, how common is this? Are you seeing many patients in your clinic with this meat allergy? We are seeing it more and more. It's becoming more commonly diagnosed. The actual incidence isn't known because we're not required to report this to the CDC. There are some estimates that in the South, up to 30% of people may have this, less in the central United States, but we don't actually know the number. That could be pretty prevalent. That's it quite a bit. Tell me how it differs from a regular allergy. Well, it differs in three ways. One, you can actually acquire this from an insect bite, the Lone Star Tick. Um, two, it's not necessarily permanent. You can lose this over time if you're not bitten again. And three, the symptoms are delayed. So most people are familiar with peanut allergy, where let's say in five to 10 minutes you eat a peanut, you're starting to get swelling in hives. With this, you may not have symptoms until three to 12 hours after you've eaten the meat takes a while. It does. You mentioned you could get it back. I would imagine if you've had this meat allergy, you're pretty vigilant about not getting bitten again by a tick. Yes, that's one of the most common questions my patients ask me is how to avoid future bites. So be prepared if you're going into wooded areas, long sleeve shirts, long pants, appropriate bug spray to protect yourself. Good advice for anybody. Thank you very much, Dr. Christine Franzies. And with Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare.